What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I got a special video for you guys. Um, I'm just going to warn you, we are going to be preparing a uh, live hog to get it ready for a pig roast in two days. So we're going to head over to my buddy's uh, house, keeping it Dutch. I know everybody knows Dutch. And uh, he has about 150, 160, 75 pound hog. And uh, we're going to get it prepared for this pig roast that he is going to have in two days. Uh, we're going to scrape the hide, we're going to gut it and all that, and then we're going to hang it up in his cooler. He actually has an awesome cooler. It's like a meat locker. He can hang uh, animals like deer or any kind of animal to keep it chilled and let it age a little bit before they cook it or process it, whatever you want to call it. So this is the first time that any of us has been, uh, well, I guess has uh, processed a hog. So it's going to be a learning experience for all of us all of us involved i don't know who all is going to be there for sure but i know me and dutch has been wanting to pro start processing our own hogs and uh this is going to be a little uh little uh getting our feet wet i guess you might say we're not actually going to be cutting it all up and all that but we are going to get it ready for a pig roast and on this pig roast if you guys follow uh keeping it dutch he already has a uh what like a roaster oven type thing set up that we went over the other day and built out of cinder blocks and we're going to use some indirect heat to uh, cook this thing. So we'll have a video out about all that as well. And uh, today I just wanted to try to film some of the process of preparing a hog for a pig roast. And a lot of it will probably be time lapse and stuff like that. I don't know how much I'll be talking in it and all that. But I do have a harness I'm going to wear. I plan to anyways with the GoPro on it. And we'll kind of just go through all the processes and uh, bring you guys along. So I'm going to get ready. I'm going to head over there. And uh, I'm looking forward to this. Okay, so we're here. We already got the pig. Hung up and it's already wet out. I'm not going to show all that. It's about 150 or 60 pound pig. And then he's got this 55 gallon barrel of water with the cooker underneath it. And the water temperature is about 165 degrees, which is right where we need to be. And uh, it says we need to dip it for about Whoa. 30 minutes and then start sculpting it. So that's what we're going to do next. And here is the scrapers. You got a timer? You got someone got a timer for three minutes? I said. Yep. I said on my phone. Uh, I got this. No, no. Huh? Three minutes. Oh, we gotta lower it. I can't see it. It's too much. Ready to start it? No. Well, like that's fully submerged. Can you reach that bow? I can't see it. Stop it. Right now. Oh, you couldn't really ask for a better. Yeah, if you'd have put any more water in there. I knew what I was doing, boys. <laughs> you should have Yeah. Ready, guys? Oh, yeah. Is it coming off? Oh, you smell that? No. 
All right, tie it off, Kevin. This snout's still in there, but that's it. That'd be all right because we're not using it, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Right off. Oh, dude. Yeah. Yeah, Kevin. Yeah. Sweet pulling, holy. Someone grab that other scraper. Oh. Is that working, Bo? Yeah, not as good as yours. That's awesome. Look at that. Yours is a lot better. Shake it. Down That's the ones I used like a long time ago. That's cool. Right off. That's crazy, yeah. ain't it? Is it working over here, Bo? No, like I said, not like yours. Yeah, he's a Okay. What was that? We're on a propane? No, a stupid timer. Oh. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> that ball's cooked yet? Oh. Swollen shot. <laughs> you need that. Up there? Yeah, yeah like all over probably. Yeah. Vincent got his footage, he's gone. That's all I need, boys. <laughs> right now. Oh, go beat them. First to Margo. <laughs> yeah, I think we should get we have three of those, don't we? Yeah, five. I got two hands, actually. Yeah. I'm out of here. I don't either. Power wash? Probably. Probably. The only way. Well, we could load it up and take it to the car wash. That skin would come right off too if you had a power I washer. I, I got an you. electric power washer. It works pretty good at the house. Go grab it. You want me to? Yeah, let's try it. Anything? Yeah. Electric one? Yeah. You got water out here? Water. We clean our uh, house and uh, let's try it. it works pretty good. Bo does dishes with it even. Yeah. I'm going to leave my camera right here so I'll do it. Oh, I got one of those. I mean, it's just like one of the little hand torches. I got one of those in the Not yet, hold on, let me get this. 38? Dang. It's awesome. Yeah, it lets my truck sit. That power wash is gonna work. I bet it does. Uh, <laughs> you call it that? Four cylinder, yeah. <coughs> It's my third one. So really? Honda Civic. First one I got 280,000 miles. Second one I got 320. Dang. Really? Yeah. And what did the motor give out? Uh, no, I just sell them because they start. Yeah. You drive a lot? Yeah, I drive. I put about 30,000 miles a year on. Dang. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, my little car, my little car, though, it's still running. It's like 300. Down on the ground. Yeah. You still didn't have the leverage. Hey, I did all that. <laughs> Dang. Down here towards his neck. It's still working pretty good. You 
you can be able to get all the hair off, I think that's where they take like a torch. Making a pit salad tonight. Oh, <laughs> pretty, pretty good. Yeah, I bet that knife will work good. Oh, Taste it. You want? It's just skin to make food. How you do it, dude? He said, "Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> work." Toss around the old pig skin. Huh? Do we need to dunk it again, or what do you guys think? Clean it off at least. Yeah. Yeah, probably wouldn't hurt. Yeah. Ready? Oh, well, you don't leave that very long. Yeah. No, oh, you're probably gonna. Well, maybe. Yeah. One thing I was watching on 
video is not going to help me do it. It sucks. Yeah, that one ain't. Really? That's actually almost good though. Sorry, man. It's, no, getting, all it's, it's okay. getting all over me, too. Yeah, it's working right back here. I'm standing underneath him, scraping on scrapers in my face. <laughs> Take a look. <laughs> Vincent, stand there and let, it, let him do it. Let him do it to you. Uh, no. Oh, man, you right. Did you do that? Oh, I was never on this side of the field. It's right there. Look. Oh, I thought he would do that. It's all good. Oh, yeah, I did it. Oh, yeah. Makes me hungry. Yeah, that's weird how it's all white. I'm not getting it on my hands, I'm not getting it on my face. This is what I use on my face. It's <laughs> a nice knife. Except the daddy never sees it again. Yeah. <laughs> got 300 layers of what, baskets? What knife? Oh, the wizard. Birthday present. That's real nice. Oh, okay. I definitely need to rinse and wash it first. Yeah. Power water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. I can power wash it right now. Like, oh, like this is oh, just take it right off on there. Car wash. Do this at the car wash. <laughs> take the, the heater and everything. That's a pretty good idea. Not works if you can do it. Dang. Working good? Yeah. People use it. It's like the thing use. This is all I use to skin deer with now. Yeah, yeah. And I got a smaller version of it too. Just keep it real sharp. Yeah, that's what, now I see why people do the small. Sure. Yeah, 30, 40 pounders? Yeah. Put the on this hot water. You got a little propane torch? Yeah, Randy does. I was going to bring mine up. Yeah. Randy's got a torch. It's a real torch. That's a lot of mud right there. What I read is to make sure they're clean before you water. Yeah, I'm giving a nice buttermilk bath while it's alive. What do they do? Torch the rest that doesn't want it? Nobody likes that torch? No, no, no. Yeah, it's still good. Now we got all these. I can't get 
that though. I mean, you can That's tell it doesn't get penetrated because you can't hardly see it. Yeah. 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 Dip it again. And we'll try to pull it all the way out. You want to dip it? How long you want to dip it? I want the same. A minute. All the videos and stuff I watched, they get the whole thing. I know. Spotless. Yeah. So guys, we started out with the original scraper that they've used for hundreds of years. I don't know what they used before this, but I know they've been using these since like the 1800s and maybe even before that. And that works pretty good, but there's some places that's just really hard to get off. So that's where this power washer is coming in and it's actually making it really clean, taking off that epidermis and uh, it looks a lot better like this. So we're going to keep doing it. It's tedious, but it's working pretty good.
Try his face, Kevin. Huh? Try his face, Matt. See if you can get his face off now. Try Deer been in there. <laughs> Let's cut off the pizza. Yeah, right, we'll hang it right here. Okay. Here. You good? You got oh, it. shoot! Ah. Yeah. Come okay. in backwards. Go. One, two, three. Oh, oh it's gonna turn sideways. It's a little heavier than a deer, ain't it? Oh, there you go. Yeah. Uh oh, thanks. Pull, pull, uh, look for that thing. <laughs> Freezer goes out. <laughs> Cooler goes out. Let's throw it on there now. <laughs> yeah, we'll start a lot tomorrow. All right, so here's the pig roaster we built. We'll see how well it works. This cat is the best cat in the world. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, we just got home from Dutch's house. We got the uh, pig all scalded and scraped and. Uh, gutted and all that good stuff and hung it up in the freezer and it's going to rest there until tomorrow afternoon and we're going to throw that thing on that uh, fire pit and cook that thing for like 12 to 14 hours i'm going to take some digital scales over there tomorrow and we're actually going to weigh it and um see how much it weighs and that'll kind of tell us how much or uh, how much time we need to cook it or how many hours we need to cook it for and uh, this is the first time we're doing this guys uh first time that we butchered our own pig and i say butchered we didn't actually butcher it Pretty much we're just cleaning it and uh, scraping it and getting it ready to cook. Butchering in my mind is when you take an animal and you actually skin it, gut it, and uh, cut it up into, you know, you quarter it and cut it up like pork chops, bacon, all that type of stuff. This is a whole pig going on a fire pit. Going to be cooked over a, uh... these dogs are going crazy. I can't concentrate. <laughs> cooked over like coals. So necessarily, I showed you guys a little footage of the fire pit that we built these just a couple days ago. And what it is, is you build a fire and you get the coals really hot and good. You put your pig on there and then you put a piece of plywood or something over that whole fire pit. And what it does is it pretty much just bakes that pig. So you're not actually cooking over like a direct fire. It's actually the heat from the fire is doing the cooking. So uh, that way you don't overcook it. And uh, I don't know, I've heard really good things about these pig roast and uh this is our first time 
the trial thing, I know there's a lot of stuff in the video that I just shot that we probably could have done better and things that we've learned to do next time. But that's part of it. If you don't ever try, how are you going to know, right? So you got to get your hands dirty sometimes before you know how to do things. And uh, we didn't really have anyone there showing us what to do. None of us has ever done it before. So uh, sometimes you just got to get in there and uh, give it a try and learn from your mistakes and roll with the punches and don't give up. And I'm sure we're still going to have a great time. There's going to be a lot of great families there and stuff like that. And I'm sure the food's going to be excellent. So I can't wait for that. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, I guess that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I got some okay footage on there. I don't know. I'm fixing to go in the house and edit it and try to get this thing posted tomorrow. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below. Have you guys ever uh, held a pig roast? Have you ever been to one? What was your experience like? We'll see you next time. You ready to go night night? Hmm? You look sad. Poor boy. Poor boy.